We gotta think about it so that we can remember. Okay, rem- remember Let's- when? <sighs> remember, 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 remember. Remember when you were like a YouTube celebrity? Honestly, another time long ago, it feels like a distant memory now, but it wasn't. It was real. It was this dimension, remember? Dude, it was four years ago. Oh, I don't want to say, okay, first of all, let's start off with the, the fame. The word famous is not anywhere close. <laughs> There's a lot more popular. No, there was skills. a time when I would be with Evelyn, and no matter where we went, somebody would be like, oh my god, you're Evelyn Ivy. I watch you on YouTube. I remember just Moxie in general. This everyone was making content. You're like, oh, you don't have something to do? You're gonna make content. You wanna make content? You're getting content. Everyone was making content. Yeah. And it was so cool to just yeah, see everyone like be themselves and like Yeah, it was just like being in a kitchen and like the recipe required so many ingredients and once it was all put together, it just like tastes so good. Yeah, well you know what actually got me thinking about this was the other day a customer emailed me. But they reached out about our YouTube videos. They were like, I still watch YouTube, the YouTube and I love it. If I could provide a little feedback. They are like, we miss Evelyn and Kiana. Um, they're just mentioning like the street skating videos where it was more like vlog style, like long form, Dude. like talking, chatting with the camera. Um, and they were like, we need more of that. Like people are missing it, honestly. It was such a fun time. You know, it's funny that you bring up that street skating video mind you this is street skating like casual street skating and like zooming around yeah in your neighborhood um i remember the first time i got asked to do that video bobby he was like our filmer videographer he would yeah put all the magic stuff all the youtube that you were seeing back in like 2020 um i think a little bit of years prior to that a little bit over shout out toxic boys yeah (laughs) bobito thank you for everything but um i remember he had texted me and he was like dude do you want to like go film today? Like maybe we can just do like, I don't know, somewhere in your town. And at the time I was living um, out in Orange and in Orange, honestly, like the best gem there is the circle, which is like the downtown area. And um, I was like, let's just go to the circle and like you can follow me around and we can just like, I can tell people how I like tips on skating and stuff like that. Cause at this time I was honestly only skating for about what, like, six months at least so i was still very new like i'm in a helmet and like full gear so So this is my best impression of evelyn in her first videos okay she has her helmet on her knee pads elbow pads wrist guards everything and she's like hi guys my name is evelyn ivy and today i'm gonna skate around and show you guys just a few a few little things tips and tricks but don't be like me (laughs) don't copy me i'm not the expert i'm just learning here too She's always been a humble queen. Dude, no, the, the ironic part. So when I had started the YouTube channel, my personal YouTube channel, it was like the 365. I know this is like we're going everywhere, so we'll keep it big, but. No, but you remember. Yeah, you guys remember, remember? <laughs> you, we're skating before the pandemic. You remember the 365. So the 365, pretty much to keep it short, was skaters were dedicating 365 days um, to roller skating. And it was something that Moxie like, was starting. And yeah. at the time when I did it, it had already happened, I believe, like a year or two prior. But I had seen other people's posts and was motivated. And I remember yeah, being those like, hashtags connected the community like nothing else. Exactly. Yeah, that was crazy. But I remember just like being so shy, and I was like, oh my god, you know, I don't want to flood my in- personal Instagram with a bunch of videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was like, I'm just gonna go on YouTube, and like anyone that like wants to watch YouTube, they're going out of their way to look for this. So you know what? I'll just put it on YouTube. I didn't think anything of it, like. As I was putting these videos up, YouTube is a place where people go to like learn things and yeah, share your experience too, but I just wanted to make it very clear to like not have anyone hold me liable for any kind of safety <laughs> concerns. I was like, do not copy me. Like it, my video would start like- But you did actually give great like <laughs> advice and like encouragement though in your videos. Dude, it, I'm, I'm really glad that I did stick to that very like vulnerable side and like put it out there because it's so true when people say that when you are you're like most cringe like that's when you bring in like the best kind of people and yeah i don't regret doing that sometimes i have to remember that i 
to put myself in those yeah. cringe moments because yeah, I I really miss them. Yeah, you definitely have like a very special like talent when it comes to it because you're so like vulnerable, authentic. Like it's not cringe though. But it's just it's so Evelyn. <laughs> like I need another Evelyn YouTube video, so leave a comment if you want Evelyn to make another YouTube video because I need someone to like jog my memory, you know? I need to like make a new one. Dude. Refresh me. It I mean that would be pretty exciting considering my life has drastically changed since the last time I made a YouTube video. Kayla's my neighbor now, like Dude, yeah, a lot has changed, so mm, I don't know. There's a lot of things we can remember. Yeah, def a lot of things in the last three years. Um, so, yeah, let me know in the comments if you are curious. Um, but if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, I don't want to I don't want to drop, like, things, but... Um, Check out the YouTube channel. <laughs> there, there's, like, a, a recap video of, like, the first year of skating, and if you just, like, want a, an overall recap of my journey, that video is really good just because it, it goes through every single moment so if you have a friend in general that's like trying to learn how to skate and they're scared to be vulnerable yeah send them at my youtube channel and maybe they'll get inspired i think we should do a little show and tell because evelyn has something here with us that you may recognize from the youtube videos they're still alive but do i still use them uh no Not am i really. still vegan um no i'm not <laughs> plant powered anymore <laughs> i mean it's, I have a healthy balance, okay? This is what I'm saying. So These iconic. are still going strong. I never repainted them after I did it that first time, but if you have beach bunnies and you want to And how long did you skate in those for? Honestly, I want to say, like, consistently for, like, nine months. These were, like, my go-to skates. And then I got my first pair of jacks. But um, after that, I was just using these recreationally, like, getting to work. So, like, two years, I would say. They've aged pretty pretty nicely and th they'll still be my emergency skates if I ever like need a pair for like a friend or anything but yeah they held up pretty well we can go do a whole video on how they held up some other time but hey Evelyn's next YouTube video yeah <laughs> I've been telling her that I want to help her make a video because they're just so good and we need more Evelyn Ivy oh thanks y'all I'm like <laughs> Honestly, um, if I could say anything is surround yourself with people that really motivate you. If you are hanging out with friends and you're leaving your friend group or the hangout and you're not feeling high and like this, yeah, the high vibration, you should question your friends um, because my friends are great. They are constantly trying to push me and I definitely need it. What was, what were your first pair of skates? My first pair of skates was a Clementine Lolly and I had, I was living in Vegas at the time and I was so nervous to buy online because I was like scared back then. It was like, you couldn't return skates. You know, if you bought them, it was like a final sale. Yeah. I was like so nervous. So I know how the customers feel that email that are nervous about sizing because that was me. Um, so I decided I'm just gonna drive to California when I have a chance and try them on in person, go to the store that used to be in Venice, Venice Beach. And so I went there with my roommate at the time and his partner. So it was like a little after my birthday. I actually purchased them on my dad's birthday, August 18th, um, 2018. Damn, we're like around the corner. Yeah, so it's actually a few days. In a few days, it'll be my like lolly skate anniversary. So I actually, I contemplated for months on whether I wanted to get quad skates or rollerblades, like inlines. Um, and a friend of mine, she was a roller skater, Camille, and she just looks so cute in her skates. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get roller skates. They're so cute and the colors are so fun. So yeah, I went to the Venice shop and I got the Clementine lollies. I was deciding between Honeydew and Clementine and Honeydew's discontinued now. So part of me, you know, wishes I got it, but I got the OG Clementine and so I had cute. those. The first day I got them, I had already known how to skate as a kid, so I thought I knew what I was doing, right? Yeah. So I get my skates and we go out on Venice, Be Venice Beach and I have no pads on and I was drinking because that was back when I did that. And I was so confident, I had no worries about my skills. I was like, oh yeah, I can skate, no problem. And <laughs> I put my skates on and I start, start like going down the beach path and I like eat it. 
And some guy, like, <laughs> some old man, like, on a bike, he's like, oh, if you're gonna, if you're not gonna wear pads, at least know how to skate or something like that. <laughs> so I was humbled immediately on my mm. first day on skates, like extremely humbled. And then I took it a little slower from there, but yeah, yeah I had my lollies for maybe like two years and then I got the vegan jacks yeah, right after they for, came out. Dude, the, that first fall that literally rocks your entire core, <laughs> soul, brain, literally boogers that you have in your nose, like insane. Yeah. yeah. Especially when you think like, oh yeah, I got this. like. No problem. No, no. Yeah, I'm good at things. <laughs> yeah, so if you also approach that in your early journey, yeah. it's okay. It's Say you're like an athletic person and you think you're great at things, you get on skates and it's like hard. <laughs> Just yeah. give yourself some time. Be patient. It takes time, but you'll get it. Yeah, I had a friend recently with that messaged me and she's like, because I posted that we have that Beach Bunny deal going on. And she was like, oh, I've always wanted to roller skate, but rollerblading, I just felt like a better balance. And it's, it is different. Like, yeah. Um, with quad skates, obviously, you don't have that back wheel to help you with, like, going backwards. So the a lot of people. The base is longer on the inlines. Yeah. And that's, that. yeah, you find yourself probably. It's a little tail, different. But, but a little with a more. few small technical tweaks, you know, it's very similar. Yeah. And I, I feel like after, like, a couple hours, once you warm up, like, you're you're probably pretty stable you understand the balance but it is different it's not going to feel the same i'm sure ice skating i've never done it before but i'm sure probably that also feels different it's more similar to inline skating there you go see it feels yeah. similar but then for me it feels more like my the blade is like glued to this the ice like it feels so heavy harder for me to like stride yeah because inlines are like so lightweight roller skates all day baby hey so in this episode, it sounds like we remembered. We when, remembered a lot. Yeah, YouTube. We remembered first pair of skates. I didn't Sorry. remember to eat breakfast, and my stomach is growling. You could probably hear it. Oh.